Praise the Lord, everybody. I just wanted to get on here just to share with you this quick word of wisdom for anyone who might be battling lust. There was a time in my life where I was lusting and it was very aware for me that I began noticing this. And, you know, I was in different types of environments, you know, whether I was at church or, you know, in my own home, you know, watching videos on YouTube that I saw myself in this pattern of continually lusting after men. And it's not that I wanted to, again, lust after men, but it was in my heart. And so I want to share with you two things that I did that eventually helped me to, you know, overcome lust because lust is a matter of the heart, right? It's things that we have there and it's just, you know, impure thoughts that we're entertaining. So the first thing was you need to take the thoughts captive and you need to cast down the imaginations. So I remember for me specifically, the reason why I believe I was battling this was because I wasn't taking the thoughts captive. I was allowing them to free roam. I was allowing myself to think on these imaginations. And the second part was I, you know, I needed to refrain from watching certain men, right? Whether, or being around certain men, like if I was, you know, again on, on YouTube, let's say for example, and there was someone that I particularly found like attractive, right? Then that was at the time and the moment that, you know, God was calling me to not watch, you know, this person because it's like watching them caused me to lust after them. So this is a word of wisdom, again, for my sisters, for my brothers. If you find yourself, you know, continually lusting after certain individuals, right? You need to get away from that environment. You need to obviously first take the thoughts captive and you want to cast down those imaginations but you also want to remove yourself from the, the source of temptation, right? It's not wise for you to continually, you know, watch someone or, you know, again, just be a part of things that cause you to stumble. And this is where God has called us to operate into self-control, right? And until God removes these things from our heart, until he, you know, purifies us and, re and refines us, we need to be okay with, again, not watching or not putting ourselves in a particular situation where we're just again free roam we're having all these thoughts if you know they not the person right but it's ourselves that we're in the situation where they are causing us to stumble and again it's not easy at first right but this is where again we want to continue to grow with the Lord and continually remove these things that you know cause us to sin you know because obviously Jesus takes this very seriously he says if you you know look at a woman with lust you've already committed adultery with her in your heart so this is again a, a very serious matter to to the lord it's not something that he takes lightly right because it i mean if you already lusted after someone then you've already done that basically it's like the same thing as the act so i want to encourage you again that it's possible to receive freedom and I want to pray for you right now as well. If you are battling lust and you want to break free from this and you want to, you know, say, Lord, I repent for this. I want to, you know, do better. I want to, I'm going to remove myself from these situations, from these uh, people that I'm watching that, you know, I don't want to anymore. Then, you know, just repent right now. And I want to just pray for you right now. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just pray right now for my brother, for my sister who is watching this, who might be bound with the spirit of lust right now. I command every spirit of lust to come out right now in the name of Jesus. I command every unclean spirit, every unclean spirit right now to come out right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit must go right now in the name of Jesus. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now, Father God, for just your peace upon them. I pray for your strength upon them right now, Father God, and that they will know greater is he that is in them than he who is in the world. Father God, that you've given them self-control, that you've given them a power of, a spirit of power and of love, God, in a sound mind that, God, they can do these things, that they don't have to allow lust, God, to rule their lives, that they don't have to be slaves to this sin right now in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope that you were encouraged by this word. And again, everything is possible through Christ. Amen. God bless you all.